Hi guys, welcome back for yet another video on uh, iOS 8 on uh, iPhone 5. Like you watched in my last video, I upgraded my iPhone 5 to iOS 8. Uh, well, the experience has been good. I have uh, used uh, um, iPhone. I, I have used iOS 8 for the last few weeks, and uh, it's really, really nice. Except for the fact that uh, I think the battery life, for some reason, um, was very, very bad. Now, I have realized that the problem that the battery was bad is because iOS 8 adds a lot of uh, new. Uh, features which uh, actually consumes a lot of battery so um, here is a video which actually is going to help you uh, get more out of your battery for any phone that is running on iOS 8 in our case we are using iPhone 5 but this is applicable to iPhone 5, 5s, 6, 6 plus any phone that is running on iOS 8 so let's without wasting much time let's get straight into it the first thing that you would want to control is the brightness right so look at the brightness uh, now I have set it at auto brightness now if you really don't want auto brightness you can change you can sh uh, shut down auto brightness and you can set a brightness level which is comfortable uh, what happens is because auto brightness what it does is it, it keeps monitoring the the surrounding lights and it keeps uh, adjusting the brightness to uh, to to the surrounding lights now that consumes a lot of battery so uh, disable auto brightness and um, I, it will it will add a lot more to your battery uh, next we'll look at um, next we'll look at background app refresh now background app refresh is another feature that is added I think this was there in iOS 7 as well uh, what it does is it uh, it keeps all the apps that's running in the background and if there is any update it just contacts the servers and it keeps updating but if you really don't need it I think most of y'all would not need it un unless you're running any mission critical applications on your I iPhone uh, you could safely put uh, background app refresh off which is going to save you a lot of battery uh, next we will look at Bluetooth now even Bluetooth consumes a lot of batteries so if you're not using Bluetooth it's best to keep it uh, off next we look at uh, the motion the parallax effect which a lot of people have problem with now what is parallax parallax effect um, on your background image now uh, iOS 7 introduced something called parallax effect what it does is the background of your uh, home screen uh, gives you a 3d a moving image now that's brilliant sometimes it looks really nice but the problem is it consumes a lot of battery now if you want to disable that you need to come here into accessibility reduce motion and put this on so what it does is it reduces motion which is nothing but reducing it uh, disabling the parallax effect um, next we'll look at notification now uh, notification again uses a lot of battery so notification sent if you go to notification now you will have to go through these apps and you you'll have to manually disable if you think uh, you don't need uh, notification from the phone so you can disable that so what I've done is I have just picked out apps that I really need notifications everything else I have disabled so you could look and see what is uh, required you can enable notification only for those apps and all the other apps you can disable notification next we'll look at uh, location services now location services again uses a lot of battery now uh, the problem is a lot of apps are constantly trying to get your location which uh, is definitely consuming a lot of battery so you'll have to go through these apps and give location access location services access only to apps that you really think need location services Facebook Google Maps uh, messenger now these are the things I have enabled but you will have your own list so go through that and disable uh, every other app that does not require location services you can go in there and you can say never and only those apps that really need location uh, uh, services enable only for them then you can also go into system services now system services there are many apps that many um, settings here so you can look at uh, some of those settings which you think is not required so for instance location based alerts i i don't think i need that so i've disabled that spotlight suggestions i don't use it i've shut it off 
many things like that now another thing is frequent location now frequent location what it does is it uh, it keeps track of your location uh, and it updates that to apple uh, i think more than the battery it's also a security uh, loop also i prefer putting it off so i would suggest you put it off as well uh, it will save you a lot of battery and of course it will also protect your privacy next you can look at advertising and in advertising you can say limit ad tracking uh, that limit the amount of uh, tracking that it will do to give you specialized advertising also you can look into diagnostics and usage data now what apple does is apple requests or rather your phone sends apple automatically uh, usage data now uh, it's best to disable that so you say don't send because it does tend to send you a lot send a lot of data out to apple which of course is going to consume a lot of battery so just say don't send that will also save you a ton of battery then you can look at uh, handoff and suggested apps so i generally don't uh, put it on what handoff does is uh, you can it's it's a new feature in ios 8 where you can actually type a message in one app or an email in one app and uh, that is automatically being replicated onto maybe if you have an ipad it's replicated on the ipad or if you have a mac it's being replicated on mac so i don't use that feature so i have disabled that that's all that also saves you a lot of battery the next feature is airdrop now what i do is i don't use airdrop so i put airdrop off now airdrop also uh, it consumes a lot of battery so i put airdrop off um, ios 8 uh, iOS 8 gives you another uh, nifty feature. You can go to usage uh, and under general, you can go to usage and usage. You can see battery usage. Now it is going to give you a list of apps here. So it's still calculating and it will it will give you a list of apps that uh, consumes the maximum number, maximum amount of battery. So you can see and you can see that if there is any app that you don't want, don't use that frequently, but it's consuming a lot of battery, I would suggest go and switch it off. Now this is not uh, my current usage but it's the usage in the last 24 hours so some of those app let's say whatsapp even if i disable whatsapp it's still going to be there because this is what is uh, consumed in the last 24 hours um again uh, um ios ios 7 onwards we have this multitask so uh, if you're not using an app you would you would rather want to go and disable all these apps that is also going to save you a ton of battery so just disable uh, it's best to restart your device once in a while because that's going to reset all these multitask uh, applications and also clear out cache so that's also going to give you a lot of battery uh, you could also go into uh, cellular and if you're not using 4g you can disable 4g so that's also going to save you a lot of battery um, uh, these are some of the main things that's going to save you battery and you will definitely start seeing a difference in your uh, battery usage and uh, how much uh, uh, your, your full recharge is going to take. Um, I hope this helped you and uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and keep watching for new videos. Thank you.